What's up guys, MGH here and welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory career mode. It's episode 2 and episode 1 was very successful. We managed to win the pre-season tournament so don't forget to check out that episode if you missed it. It went up yesterday and I tell you what, I'm quite impressed with the team. There are some players that have stood out to me so far. Bennett on the left wing, even though he's a right midfielder, he was really impressive and I am thinking maybe I should play him in his proper position and then maybe bring in a left midfielder. So let's swap these guys around for now. Evans can play on the left anyway, so I guess that's a good thing. Uh, Barton really stood out. I really like this guy. Bit of an all-rounder. He's kind of good at everything, but not really amazing at anything, if that makes sense. He's just, he's just an overall player. Um, Webster in defence looked very decent as well. And Murphy was the hero in the end, kind of. I mean, saved a couple of penalties in the final. So, uh, yeah, we're looking good right now, guys. We finished the pre-season tournament. That's all done. And we did win some more money. And we're going to see how much we got. We got £720,000 in the bank. And look at that. The board are very happy with me for winning it. So there you go. Let's have a look at the budget now. £2.6 That is much better. But I think I'm going to need more wages. Because I'm thinking of loaning in some players. So I think if I give myself, let's say, a budget of uh, about £20,000 per week to spend on some loans, then I think that we could do some uh, some good business there. I think straight off the top of my head, there's a few Man City players that I could take. Maybe I hear Nacho, get him on a two-year loan. They've got a left-back called Ange Angels, I think. I can't quite remember his name, but Man City really do have some great young players. And I almost want to do like what Chelsea do with Vitesse. They've got a lot of their youngsters at one club. And I kind of want to do that and rip off some of Man City's youngsters because... They are actually very good in this game. So we've got Thierry Ambrose. We're going to go ahead and uh, obviously scout all these players. We've got I hear Nacho. He looks very good in this game. Um, in terms of midfielders, I'm not too sure I want to take any of these guys. Maybe Manu Garcia could be decent. I mean, we'll, we'll scout him. Defensively, they've got Angelino. That's the player I was trying to mention. I couldn't remember his name. He looks very decent. So he could be the answer to my left back woes. They've got Facey here, who used to be a right back, I believe. So we'll go ahead and just double check that now, but would be a good centre back as well. There you go, he can play both. But at 5 foot 10, wouldn't really want to play him at centre back. So there's some really good options here. I think that we'll probably get both of those players. We've got Mafio, interesting name. Let's go ahead and scout him as well. Could be a better right back. And that's it. In terms of goalkeepers as well, who have they got? They've got Gunn. He could be very decent, actually. We'll take a look at him as well. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be Man City Juniors. Okay, so here we go. They're all fully scouted. It only took six days, which is really good. But um, I've seen Angus Gunn isn't quite good enough to replace anyone at the club already. So we will not be going for him. They've got a 59-rated Mafio. They've got Facey is 63. Angelino is 63. Garcia is 66. Ambrose 64. But I hear Nacho is 69-rated. And I think he would... He would power us into the next league, the Football League 1. So I think it's an absolute no-brainer to go for him, especially because one of our main strikers, Lavery, he is going back from his loan in a couple of months. So I'm going to go ahead and try and loan him for two years. There we go. Let's submit that offer. I think I'm going to go for this Manu Garcia as well. He looks really good. For a 17-year-old, I think he would do very well. Another two-year loan. But the defenders, I'm not too sure about. I think Angelino could do well, potentially. Would be a nice player in the squad. But I think I need a right-back more. Well, straight away, Man City have accepted the two loan offers for Garcia and Ihe Nacho. Definitely going to sign these guys up. And of course, it doesn't really cost anything. It's just weekly wages that we lose. Um, and we'll have them for two whole seasons. So we'll have them potentially until we're in the championship. And then hopefully we'll have some more money, loan them back or buy them if they're really good, of course. So I've gone out to look for some more right backs. And I found Aina from Chelsea and Emmanuel from Ipswich. And this guy looks actually very decent indeed. 17, 61 rated. He's a right back or a left back, which is... Probably exactly what I need. So we're going to go ahead and definitely loan this guy for two years. Potentially buy him, I think, after a while. Because he's exactly what I'm looking for right now. This is when it gets interesting, guys. So my scout has returned. That's the guy looking for, you know, a future star. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at him right now. He is a winger from Italy. Okay, interesting. Wow. Okay, he looks like he's got some very nice stats. He's 59 rated as well, so... 
I think it's probably worth just calling him up right now. Don't you reckon, guys? Just bring him up to the first team and start training him because he's going to be an absolute monster. We've also got monthly scouting updates. Let's take a look. We've got a goalkeeper and, well, it looks to be a defender most likely. But then again, you look at his stats there, his strengths, sprint speed, stamina, all this stuff. But decent players. I think we're going to continue to scout them. Um, but what I must say, guys, is I've got a much lower criteria, if it makes sense, compared to when I'm using Premier League clubs. Obviously, if someone's got a potential of 78 or so, that's still really good. Um, okay, this guy looks good, Reese Harvey. Very interested in signing him up, 65 to 87. But again, I think it's worth scouting them just for one more month. And there you go, Ipswich have allowed me to take Emmanuel on loan. So he's only 1,750 per week. And again, we'll have him until the championship. He goes straight into the team. Well, I've got to say, the first team is looking a bit stronger right now. We've got I hear Nacho now at 70 rated already. He's only been at the club for two days. I haven't even trained him yet. Garcia at Cam and Emmanuel at right back. And that is looking so much better already. And that means on the bench, we're looking stronger as well. And Morosini, the scouter future star, has accepted his contract straight away. But I'm very disappointed, guys, because look, two star weak foot, two star skill moves. And he's got shit work rates. But now, guys, it's time to kick off the season for real now. We're into the first league game of the season against Wickham. And it's at home at Fratton Park. The first time I'm playing at the official Portsmouth Stadium. So hopefully we get off to a good start. Hopefully all my debutants will do well. Especially I here Nacho. Let's try and get him a goal or two on his first game. Possibly not the best start here. They've got a free kick in a good position. And... Ooh, Murphy had to keep that very, very close off the line there. That was a little bit dodgy, if you ask me. But now Bennett's on the run. He does have really good pace. Can he make it through? Go on, son. He's kind of made it through, but he's given away a free kick. Short pass from the free kick. Here's Hollands. Okay, not the best bit of play there. Here's Manuel. Oh, hang on. Barton's through here. Oh, man, almost scored. Oh, that's a good ball. Over here to Bennett. Over the top. That's a really good ball as well. Back into I hear Nacho. Good first touch. Finish it. Come on. Yes. I hear Nacho with his first goal, guys. It is 1-0. 10 minutes before first half ends. Look at this first touch. Oh, it is Burkamp-esque. Not quite as good as that. But what a finish as well. Oh, shit. That's a good ball. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's another cross. It's another cross. This happened in episode one. They just whip in the ball and they score. My defense can't handle it. This is just a joke, man. Look how easy it is for them to get this cross in. He just bombs past my left back. And look at that. <laughs> Absolute joke, mate. And now it's one all. Go on, Garcia. Yes. This is great. Come on, Bennett. Let's go. I hear Nacho's made his run. It's a good ball. No, it's not. It's way too close to the keeper once again. Cross comes in. It's a good one. Go on. Go on. Yes. That could be the winner, guys. It's Bennett. That is a very, very lucky goal. It just fell for him. I think we deserve it. We've put on a lot of pressure recently and it is a very fortunate goal. But still, Bennett was in the right place at the right time and he's been the player of the season so far. It seems a bit early to say that. He's, he's been my favourite player so far. Blow the whistle, ref, please. Blow the whistle. Yes, we get our first three points of the season in the first game. What a start. And now, guys, we're going into our first cup game of the season against York City away from home. Now, Normally, I guess I wouldn't play this if I'm playing as Arsenal, for example. The cut, Capital One Cup, I'm just like, don't care. But obviously, for me, this, this is actually quite a good competition. A chance to play against the big boys. So we are going to play these games. Let's get off to a winning start in this competition as well. Here is York City's team. Don't really know too much about York City, but I'm going to take every team seriously. Straight away, though, they're on the attack here with a very pacey right winger. And the cross has come in. Please deal with that. Oh, God, I hate those looping headers. I always think they're going to go in. Here's Stevens. Inside to an attacker. Here's Garcia. Oh, hang on. Barton, I'm going to hit this. Go on. Oh, my God. <laughs> it almost went in on, on the rebound. It hit the goalkeeper's gloves. I hear Nacho's making his run. Can we find him? Never mind. It's gone back post to Evans. He's just dived in and missed it. What's he doing? Here goes Garcia. Lovely run from him. Over here to Evans. Fake shot onto his right foot. Hits it. No. He's been tackled at the last second. Continue that run. Yes. Great bit of play. Come on, Evans. This is your moment. Hits it. Oh, it's been bloody tackled in the last second. Again. I'm in some trouble here. This is not good. No. No. Don't let them score. Oh, Jesus. It's gone in off the post again. 
It's the second goal I've conceded like that. I just let him run into the box like, you know, no worries. Just have a little look around, you know, see if you can have a shot, maybe have a pop at goal. Honestly, it's just so, so easy for them. And I'm a little bit unlucky to concede it off the post, but I let him have the space into injury time now. Only two minutes. Is it long enough to get a goal? It might be. Go on through to Ihe Nacho. Go on. Oh, he's so close there. I think that's it. I think that was my last chance. Shit. What a start to the Capital One Cup. We've lost our first match. Holy crap. Oh, I mean, come on. They had a little bit more possession than me, but four shots on target compared to their one. But hey, guys, at least we got a win in the league and we're off to a good start there. It's been an interesting opening to the season. I think that we are going to get promoted in this first season. And if we don't, then that is embarrassingly bad and we would deserve to be fired. But we're not going to let that happen. We will get into League One after this season, I think, especially with the players that we've got. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, please show it. Please leave a like rating. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and never miss an episode. Don't forget to check out the official MGH store, shop.officialmgh.com, to buy yourself some shirts, some jumpers, and some more stuff will be on there soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.